hopefully my microphone is working and not muted right now, which I don't think it is. No. So, good. Uh, we are back here with the Tekka tutorial number five. Yes, five. That I believe. I know it's five. And uh, I know you guys have been wanting to follow up to the very first one for a long time. I've just been too lazy to do it. Um, mostly because this was a lot of work. Um, but pretty much this goes over absolutely everything you can do with the quarry at this point. And uh, we'll eventually get down there, but as you see, I'm kind of getting creative using these automatic crafting benches to uh, make me some stuff. So, a little recap, how to make your quarry. You need two diamond gears, a diamond pickaxe, two golden gears, three iron gears, and a piece of redstone. You get a quarry from that. Now, as you can see, I've laid it down here with some redstone engines. Now, how to make the redstone engine is two wooden gears, a piston, one piece of glass, and three wooden planks. Now the only reason I did this one is to show you guys that it doesn't work. You cannot use redstone engines, at least I don't think you can, on quarries. If it does start building, then I'm wrong. That engine's really slow. But uh, I'll leave that on and it shouldn't start working. So that's kind of interesting. Now, this next one will be using the steam engines. Now the steam engines, these guys, and they use, well, I had coal in there. Apparently I don't. Um, Four pieces of uh, one, two, three, four. You can. I prefer to use charcoal. I actually forgot to set that up. You can actually make a uh, little contraption that uses uh, that uses or that you can make charcoal instead of coal because it's much. It's uh, same burn value but much more efficient. Um, so steam engine. How you make that is three cobblestone, one glass, two stone gears, and a piston. The same format as the redstone, but just a little bit more advanced stuff. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Let me turn it on actually. Now these guys will not overheat uh, as long as they're not near each other. Oh shoot, now it's raining. And actually see these. Oh, it is working. Oh, look at that. The redstone engines do work. They're just terribly, terribly slow. Okay, I am, I am wrong then. I would not recommend using redstone engines. So this one will start building and we'll start We'll let it dig. Um, there's just enough pop out. No, we're actually going to get some uh, have, um, transport pipes. Get a lot of cobblestone for transport pipes and a condensation truck or condenser and a diamond. Cool. So here we go. This will go over here. Didn't even think about that. <laughs> That stuff is going to start spurting out everywhere. Alright, now it will start spurting out everywhere. That's good. So as you can see, it'll start digging. So that's always fun. Now the next one here is actually uh, a a, um, what's it called? A combustion engine. Now for combustion engines to work, they need oil, uh, lava, or fuel in them. It's working. So for them to work, we're going to make a pump. You actually need a mining well. So to make a mining well, you need six pieces of iron, an iron pickaxe, iron gear, and a piece of redstone. That'll give you a mining well. To make the pump, all you do is create the pumps. I'll put a tank on top, and I'll show you how to make that later. That makes a pump. And you set it up like this. And this is just how to make waterproof cobblestone piping. There's a pipe waterproof, and all you do is uh, smelt cactus green. That's all you do. And same for the every other thing. So let's turn this on so it starts working. I'm invincible, so that does not come on. There we go. Turn that on. As you can see, it's pumping. Um, now to actually, let's start pumping these as well. Just turn them on real fast and get this pump going. Now this is a pump for water because you do need to cool these engines. If you don't, they will overheat and that's a problem. So I got lava pumping into all of these little engines here and as you can see they are digging. And that's always fun so actually let me just set this up again. So shoot, shoot. <laughs> Didn't work out to do that. Now it'll actually go through lava fairly fast so I wouldn't, unless you have very, very substantial amounts of lava, I would not um, really recommend doing this. Oh shoot, I didn't think about that. I need an iron gear or an iron pipe. It's probably going this way too, isn't it? Yep. 
Yep. Heat iron pipe. There we go. Make it a wrench. Need this wrench. Right. Okay, a little bit of a glitch, but that's just all right. Oh, actually, it is going the right way. Okay, never mind. Like I say, I need a pipe here as well to go through that here, but that needs to be reversed. And a pipe here, which needs to be reversed. Right here. All right. So that's that's setting up good. Now I won't have any problems here. I don't want I don't want stuff flying around. So as you can see, this one's actually a little bit faster than the other. Um, that's what's gonna happen. Like this one, wait, which redstone engine? Close to me though, <laughs> which is funny. So definitely don't use redstone engines. I would recommend steam engines if you are. Ooh, look at what we found. We found a ravine. Well, that's gonna give an advantage to this one. Okay. So this one's actually substantially faster. Now, for this one over here, this one is just going to use oil. Actually, I don't think I've missed any crap engines, have I? Combustion engine, I showed you. I have not showed you how to use a combustion engine. Combustion engine. Six iron ingots, one glass, one piston, and two iron gears, just as the others. Um, it works pretty efficiently. Now, this next one, we're going to use oil in it. And it is actually the same speed as the other ones. It's just a different fuel source. But as you can see, I'm going to turn these on. And I don't have any coal. Uh, I could just whip it out and get it coal. Or I didn't put coal in there. I don't know. I need coal. DD. Wait, where did this go? Uh, okay. Okie dokie. Now this one will start running. And this one's actually catching up, as you can see, so that's all fun. All fun and games. So, as we move on to the next one that we'll start building, yes it is. Um, now, the efficiency level for the burn rate, though, does go lava, oil, fuel. So, in a technicality, the less liquid, of fuel, less liquid fuel you have is as efficient as more lava. So, if you have more lava, or if you have equal lava oil and fuel fuel will burn longer so how we work into the fuel is i have this little system over here so first of all you need a refinery which is this little guy here actually i should show you how to make the tank first this is the tank the tank here is made with glass okay and with this glass you make the tank and then with this tank you go over and make a refinery and the refinery is three tanks one diamond gear and two redstone torches or something like that Oh shoot, you know what I forgot to do? <laughs> Guess what I forgot to do? <laughs> I just realized that. Okay. Okay, now that should work. That's not going to work. Uh, here we go. Okay. There we go. Now it'll work. And let's actually set this one up real fast so it doesn't break again. Let's just do that real fast so I don't have to deal with this anymore. Okay. And this one over here as well. This one, I'll get to this one. You'll like this one, guys. I promise you that. Ooh, that's glitchy. <laughs> okay, go to and there we go. Okay, now how everything's set up, nothing can break. Okay, so back to the fuel. As we said, we made the refinery, and I'm actually going to turn all of these engines on. Do they have fuel? Yes. This is the pump for the oil that I have here. Uh, so yes, it does use oil to work. So let's turn all these on. 
And as you can see, you need power for the pump here uh, to take the oil out of the tank if you are going to put it into a tank, uh, which I recommend doing because it will fill up fast. It will pump out of here into the refinery and into this cobblestone, I mean this wooden pipe, which actually is how you make waterproof wooden pipes, this wooden transfer pipe with pipe waterproof, and continue on into this. Now, this would actually take a lot of oil to work efficiently, um, but it still does work. So, And look how fast it is. It's much, much faster. It's quite an efficient speed if you use fuel instead of oil. It's a little bit faster. So, as you can see, we have all of these completed. Uh, they are running, and the redstone engine has not only been completed yet, the stone, this combustion engine is actually caught up to the stone engine. I mean, the combustion engine, or not combustion engine, the steam engine. And that's a world light glitch, not lava. By the way, if you want this world, it's called Glacier, capital G L A C I E R. There's a lot of there's oil right at spawn, actually, and right over there. So there's a lot of oil in this world if you are into that. So we are now into the energy link version. And look how much faster this is. It's very fast. You can see it moving in direct comparison there. It's much faster. So uh, here's interesting. So now this one is the energy link. Now to make an energy link, you'll need a wooden conductive pipe, which is just wooden transfer pipe and redstone. So there it is, two gold gears, three redstone, one copper cable, and two advanced alloy. Um, I'm not going to explain how to make the advanced alloy, it's pretty simple and uh, you can look it up uh, because that would just be a lot of crafting and smelting and showing you how to do it. So I would, I'm would i using a nuclear reactor, you can use whatever you want for power, but I find the nuclear reactor to be the most efficient, and it is the most efficient. You can use whatever energy source you want. So this is glass fiber cable. Coming in and how you make a six glass, two redstone, one diamond. And you hook this up here. <laughs> and I already have power in my MFE, MFSU, sorry. So as you can see how extremely fast that was. It nearly instantly built. Uh, so here it goes, it's building and it's a lot faster. All right, guys. So let me go over here and uh, actually put the puts the uranium cells in there as they're supposed to be and I'm not very good with nuclear reactors but this seems to work for me so that's how it works so this will send power to the MFSU in here it'll charge it up it's not going to use a lot it doesn't actually use a whole bunch of power to quarry it's quite an efficient process and this is a super fast process uh, to use this way I personally, in my own world with my friend in multiplayer, we did a 48 by 48 hole and dug it out in pretty much. Okay, so I've been having a little glitchy with my computer, but I uh, went and turned off these pump, these materials because they are running a little hot. They do overheat on the pumps, um, but they do not on the quarry. So just be, know, just know of that. It's not going to overheat on the quarry, but it will overheat other places. So make sure. This to work, you need to get rid of all this lava and water and stuff. This is a cool cave, I like this cave. Um, so, yeah, uh, I have not showed you how to make this stuff yet, so we'll move on to that. Look how much faster this is, it's almost already caught up to that. And uh, I'd say pretty soon, I think I'm going to cut off and then just leave it to you guys. These redstone engines were actually overheating. Um, and they're kind of useless. So once again, don't use redstone engines. They take forever and they're not going to do anything. So I'm going to show you how to make a nuclear reactor. I'm not going to explain a whole lot about it because I don't know a whole lot about it. And there's much better people who know how to do it. So MFSU is how to you need six Lapitron crystals, advanced machine, and MFD in advanced circuit. I'm not going to explain those yet. I'll probably explain them in a future episode. Reinforced stone, you see advanced alloys of stone, that's what this stuff is. It'll stop any nuclear meltdown. Uh, this is an integrated heat dispenser, which is inside of there. Uh, two copper, two chlorine cells, an integrated reactor cleaning, advanced circuit. And that's these guys here. 
uh, sub uranium cells and say empty cell and refined uranium. Reactor chamber takes four advanced circuits, three integrated reactors, machine block, and an integrated heat dispenser. And a nuclear reactor takes two advanced circuits, four advanced alloy, two reactor chambers, so you need two of these, and one generator. And just comes directly out to the MFB, MFSU, and I would not recommend. Uh, the, the only reason I can do directly from MFSE is be, or MFSU is because I know this energy link is high voltage. I would not take anything directly from the um, from the nuclear reactor to anywhere else except uh, to a transformer. Let's see how much materials we have. It's not doing bad actually. We have one piece of iron. Yeah, look how smooth that's making. This is glitched out. Oh no. We can actually turn these back on. So I might, I think I'm going to leave it off here and I'm going to do a little clip and see how far along we are in a little bit, maybe 10 minutes. And I'll show you, this one's going to kind of be cheating because it doesn't have to dig anything. Uh, so we won't take this because I guess again, that's cheating. But you'll see that this uh, nuclear reactor one will definitely beat all of these. And actually, I'll probably just leave that for you guys to experiment with because um, you're going to have multiple cores and this will be a lot of fun. So uh, I really appreciate your likes, comments, subscriptions. Hopefully this helps out from all you people that have been needing some explanation. And the reason I can run so fast, by the way, guys, is and jump really high is because I'm wearing a, uh, I'm wearing a quantum suit. So it's an advantage. Um, I'll go into, oh, it's raining again. I'll go into some more stuff if you guys need. Um, always, always tell me what you guys need to see, let to know. Um, and I will definitely tell you how to do it. I'm quite good with this game. I played a lot. So. That's interesting. Okay, so yeah, Glacier, that's a good one. So, once again, oh, this is at negative 45, 70, because that's where you want to find me. You want to find me in a nice ravine. So, okay, now I'm really done. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate your like, comments, subscriptions. We've had a lot of stuff. We've already had 2,000 blocks or something coming. Actually, I guess that's including coal, but still. That's a lot. Um, so, uh, I will see you guys all next time.